Master Ball rank. The rank that everyone aspires to reach where only the best break into and can enter. So how can a lowly scrub like me get into it, you may be asking. Well, there's no real easy way to do it. You just have to get good, as the saying goes. But in all actuality, there are ways you can break out of whatever rank you are in or are stuck in. So let's start off with the first rank and work our way up to each rank describing what you need to master in order to break out of your rank and eventually reach Master Ball rank. The first rank is known as beginner tier, or as I like to call it, the baby tier, because everyone starts out here, and if you can't break out of the beginner tier, at least you're essentially a baby. Seriously, if you're over the age of 11, you have no excuse to not get out of this tier. But for the sake of argument, let's say you are stuck in the beginner tier. You just can't win and break out. Well, the skills you need to master are, as defined by Hop, Seriously, that is all you need to learn to break out of the beginner tier. Mastering type matchups is all you need to master to beat people at this level. Most people of this level don't even have proper EV spreads, understand breeding mechanics, have good IVs on their Pokemon, or even know what natures are. And I don't even want to talk about the items. Seriously, who runs Life Orb on Chedeja? Simply bringing in a semi-competent team and knowing that water beats fire and fire beats grass is all you need to know to win at this tier. Onwards to Pokeball tier then. Surviving and breaking out of this tier is simpler than it is, but still requires some effort on your part. The skills needed to break out of Pokeball tier include knowing about IVs, EV spreads, natures, and especially item selection. While it won't necessarily make a difference if you put a Focus Sash on your Center Scorch or a Life Orb at this tier, it does help one way or another depending on the situation. Welcome to Great Ball, where the vast majority of those tend to get stuck. This is the middle of the pack where the average skilled players end up stuck in. Not only must you have mastered the previous two tier skill sets, but this is where you need to master another skill, team building. Namely, looking at your team, seeing the flaws in it, understanding what makes it strong, understanding what makes your play style strong, and then fine tuning it by either removing or changing team members as you see fit. You may swap out some members entirely or simply change their moveset, perhaps their natures or just their EV spreads. For example, let's say you like using Salazzle, but she has almost no priority moves, so she can't stop those prankster tailwind setters or use that impressive speed and damage she has for being frail. But if you give her a fake out, suddenly she has options and gives you a chance in those fights where she otherwise couldn't. At this tier, you'll be doing a bit of tinkering and fine tuning with your team. And as you do this, you will learn a lot more about your team, which leads us into the next tier. Ultra Ball tier, where veterans and elites battle it out to break into the Master Ball rank. There are two skill sets you need to master here before you'll truly break out of Ultra Ball. And the first is predicting your opponent, looking at their team, seeing what plays they can make or their plan of attack, and then trying to counter it with your own plan. The second is being able to challenge some of the top tier Pokemon, namely those that are extremely popular and powerful, and being able to handle them and whatever else is thrown your way. Dynamax Tyranitar, for example, is extremely powerful, so powerful that it's most often the Dynamax Pokemon because it almost knows no fear in its Dynamax form. The added health bonus of its training, the Sandstorm ability, its weakness policy make it nearly unstoppable unless you can shut it down fast. In this tier, there's no shame in fighting fire with fire. You have to be willing to use what makes one trainer strong or you won't break out of Ultra Ball tier.
Master Ball tier. If you've made it this far, if you've made it into this tier, then pat yourself on the back. Because now you and your Pokemon are in an exclusive group. Other Master Ball trainers will salute you and congratulate you on reaching this rank by beating the living snot out of you. Whether you and your team got here on the sweat of your own brows, or you had some help thanks to a rental team. It doesn't matter! We'll beat you all the same! The Ranked Master title given to your Pokemon at this tier for winning a battle against a fellow Master Ball Ranked player is a symbol of your strength as a trainer, and other Master Ball Ranked players will respect you because of it, if they have not already beaten you to the ground because of it. It's not easy getting to this rank. Even some Master Ball Ranked players have to struggle to get back into it sometimes. But every Master Ball Ranked player understands the struggle and so we each earn each other's respects because of it. Simply because we made it this far. Hope to see you in the ranks, and if you see me fighting you at this rank, just know I'm gonna beat the living snot out of you, as is my team going to try to do. Right after we salute you first.